Hello, Torex here, back with another Sony Vegas tutorial. This one's going to be on the wave effect. I've got three examples already made. Two I'll show at the start of the video, one I'll show at the end, as well as the example we're going to be making today. So, to get into it, you want to have your clips split to where you like. Um, I'd say this effect, you, you can do it after sort of a transition like I've done here. So after the offset happens, as you can see, the wave's coming in. And it just adds a bit of motion to the clip. Um, so yeah, let's get into how to do it. Once you've got your media imported and where you want the effect to happen, literally just go to video effects, go all the way down to wave, it's at the bottom, uh, add reset to none, and then click animate. Now I've already got a preset, so where I want the effect to happen is right after he shoots. So just there, copy down my settings, you don't have to but these are just the ones that I use. And then you've got um, horizontal waves at 3.571, you've got horizontal amplitude at 0 0.055 and horizontal phase at 1.036. Now I'd recommend having another keyframe if you don't know how to add a keyframe, just click the plus button here and set everything to zero this is what's going to actually create the wave effect with the uh, having it animated so it slowly goes into it I would go about seven or eight keyframes back so one two three four five six seven eight and then put that keyframe with all the zero settings there and at the front of it go one two three four five six seven eight forward and do the exact same just add a keyframe and set everything to zero now you can extend these two keyframes out if you want the wave effect to last longer that's totally up to you but for me i prefer it quite short so if we just do a quick preview render of this and see what that looks like okay that's a little bit too fast so I'm going to drag these out a little bit and make the effect last a little bit longer. So let's preview that again. Perfect. So it, it adds a little bit of motion to the clip. Also, if I preview render this and show you, you can see after the transition happens, it sort of gives the clip more motion. As you can see in the top right corner here. Looks really nice and smooth. And that is pretty much the tutorial. If you need to see the uh, set preset again, you can uh, pause the video now and have a look again. Uh, if you want to save this preset, just rename it to whatever you want. I've called it Cool Effect and just click Save. It will then be saved in your preset effects. Mine's down here. And yeah, that is the tutorial. So uh, if it did help, leave a like and comment on any tutorial that you need making and I'll try my best. Thanks for watching. Bye -bye. I know it's not easy, it's a matter of